Hello again adventurers, welcome to the exciting video from Albania and today we're gonna be exploring the big stone of Permet After that we're gonna travel back north to the town of Poyan where we're gonna explore the ancient Greek excavation site Apollonia So let's get into the vlog The city stone. The city stone is located in the town of Permet and represents a dual monument. First category, cultural monument and a nature monument. Archaeological excavation have not been carried out yet, although the stone is a historical and tourist resource. It is approximately 15 meters wide, 25 meters tall, with a diameter of around 30 meters and an area of around 650 square meters. On the sides of this rock there are fragments of walls with a thick lime mortar. On the upper surface of the rock are still found the remains of stone walls similar to the fragments of walls that rise around the sides of the rock. There is a 5 times 2.5 meter reservoir, an unidentified monument and a 3 times 3 meter watchtower. Given the separate tracts of walls we can say that we are dealing with a fortress erected in the early middle ages on the city stone. This symbol is related to the legend of the Ottoman invasion of Permet in 1417, according to which the local rule of Premt, after heroically resisting and not falling alive at the hands of the Ottoman invaders, threw himself from the stone together with his daughter Alexandra towards the Viosa river and with his martyr death gave his name to the city Permet.
It was interesting to see the temperature changes down here in the city of Penman it was so warm that I was in a shirt and shorts but up there on the mountains was still snow. And here we found the tunnel going straight through the stone. Alright and here we are travelling back north to the city of Duresh but on the way we want to stop at the Greek excavation site Apollonia. Look at guys at this degradation of forests, everything cut down for animal grazing. Stop eating meat, stop fucking around and go vegan. Alright and here we are near the town of Poyan at the Greek excavation site Apollonia. Got into this yard where there is exposition of these Greek statues from the 2nd and 3rd century AD. We didn't pay any entrance fee today because it's probably off season but I think there is some admission fee during the main season and this excavation site is not as popular as the Roman excavation site Butrint. The monastery and the church of St. Mary is dating back to 13th century. The monastic complex is Byzantine style and is built with recycled bricks and blocks from the ancient buildings of Apollonia. The church is one of the first of this type in Albania in the shape of the cross in the plan with central dome. The capitals of the porch are typical Romanesque style influenced from South Italy. In the front of the church is the refectory where are still preserved some wall paintings of 14th century. Under the level of the floor open some excavations of earlier remains where there is a mosaic floor with zoomorphic motifs of an early Christian church dating to 4th to 5th century. In the back side of the church is the statuary porch and the second floor of the monastery, the Archaeological Museum of Apollonia. walking to this terrace where we saw these tables with Roman and Greek writings. Here we see some reliefs depicting mostly war and other symbols from daily life. The monumental center was excavated by the French archaeologist Leon Ray in the 1930s. Restorations works carried out during the years 1970 to 1980 by the Institute of Monuments in Tirana, which gave it its present appearance. Its structuring axis is made of crossing of two streets and a plaza. The building was used for meetings of municipal authorities. The monument combines an entrance portico of the Corinthian style, preceded by the monumental staircase and a dining chamber 
where the two volume of steps and the corridor serving two cages of internal stairs are still visible. And over here we got to a row of ruins that used to be a shops before. Over here you can see these metal rods sticking out of this column and that's how they joined it with the base. Over here you can see a picture of the temple that was here before but now only the foundation blocks and pieces of columns are left here. Still amazing how they're able to carve these columns in such a shape such a long time ago. Over here we are walking around these ruins, there used to be probably walls around the whole town. So I'm still amazed how they are able to carve these rocks in a 90 degrees angle and how they are able to put such a huge blocks of rocks on top of each other here. It means that people back then already used to have a pretty good technology. Over here we can see obelisk that was also excavated at this site. Over here we can see another wall and each brick has a sign that looks like a letter A. At this place used to stand a library that looked something like this before and now you can just see the ruins over here. And over here used to stand an indoor theater that used to have a roof before. Over here used to be some kind of sanctuary that used to have statues in the front. Over here we're enjoying this nice sunset with Apollonia building in the background. So even though the, its entrance building was restored by modern workers, it's still amazing that most of the parts used are original. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy another amazing video from Albania where we explored another ancient excavation site. Stay tuned for more amazing adventures and as always, stay healthy and stay adventurous!